So this tool right here is exactly the reason why I tell everybody they should own one of these, a Ryobi Not Ryobi Bat Ray. You see, Ryobi Not Ryobi comes out with some really awesome tools and anybody that's watching this video today is gonna love the one I'm gonna show you right now. So if you have kids, pets, a house, a car. Well, this is the new Ryobi Not Ryobi Swift Clean Spot Cleaner. So a lot of people to think of carpet scrubbers, they think of really big and bulky machines. Something that's not very portable. However, this is, and it's all bat ray power. So I'm gonna show you how to use it and we're gonna put it to the test in the, uh, in the truck. Now, just to give you some backstory, of course, I had to sweep everything out. You don't want all that debris there. And I noticed how messy my kids are. They just leave everything all over the place. It drives me crazy. I was pulling all the stuff out and, what is this? What is that? It's just everywhere I looked, with every nook and cranny, the kids, they were just driving me crazy. And I decided myself I was gonna call family meeting after I pulled all this junk out everywhere. I mean, what is it? So I, I politely asked them to stop leaving the stuff in the truck. I was very cordial. Kids. Now that I got that mess cleaned up, let's put this together. So this comes out of the box, basically completely assembled. Everything's ready to go. So wrapped around the side is the hose and that goes around the base right there. So you just take this, pop this off and you bring it around. Now the hose length from end to end is about 57 inches long. And on the back side of this, you're gonna get an attachment holder, which actually works very, very well. And I'll show you in a bit. So this is your first attachment. It's a hose rinse tool. And I'll show you how that works here in a bit. You also got your wide path attachment, which is a basic standard size for a larger unit. And you get this really cool crevice brush, which I'm really excited to try out. So this seems pretty straightforward to put together and fill it up. We're gonna do that now. I've never used this tool before, so we're gonna experience this together, my friends. So up on top is where the clean agua goes. So you can just take this and lift it right off like that, or you can just do it from the backside like this. But once you seat that down in, it's not going nowhere. So let's just take this off. Now on the bottom side right here, you got a lid and that's what goes down into the unit. It's gonna feed that water. You just take this off. If you wanna fill this thing up, screw it off like so. It's gonna tell you right there, you got a half tank, full tank. So in here, I put a full tank, that's 36 ounces. If I were to do a half tank, that would come out to 18. Brain hurts. Now, if you decide to buy this tool, it'll come with some oxy cleaning concentrate. Long story short, any carpet cleaning solution will work with this. So I filled this up with pretty warm water. I'm just gonna fill a cap full of this. Dump it in like so. That was extremely messy. Must be my nerves from being on camera. Put your cap back on real nice like. Give it a little shake it, shake it. And then just take this and well, now you're ready to go. Now, what's gonna determine your run time is the size bat ray you got. This is the new Ryobi 8 and the new Ryobi 12AH bat rays. We'll, uh, we'll use the 8. So I've had my truck for about a year, been through spring, winter, spring, and summer. And well, I have not cleaned these mats yet. So I'm gonna take my wand and I'm going to attach it like so. Now on top of the Ryobi not Ryobi spot vac, well, there's a power button right here. So right off the bat, I can feel the suction coming out from the bottom here. I say we use an abuse. All right, there's your trigger button for the water to come out. Oh, my camera. The water actually comes out pretty real nice like. And here we go. Mm. Mm. All right, let me show you what this is doing. I'm gonna spray this down and scrub it out and watch this. That does a good job. That is pretty freaking impressive. Scrubby dubby dubby, scrubby dubby. Wow, look at that. That is pretty freaking awesome. You can see the dirt is pulling up. Wow. Hmm. Let me show you a different view here. Spray that down. Scrub it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that. that is, that is, it really got some pool on it. That's nice old clean. It's, it's just damp, but it does a good job pulling this up. Look at that.
All right, so now this is where the crevice tool is gonna come in. I don't think it's gonna pull this all up. I mean, once these things stain, they stain, but we'll try to get a little bit cleaner and that crevice tool should be able to get in there real nice like. All right, so here's the crevice tool. We'll just take this and pop it off like so. Very easy to do. And then this is gonna go on like so and it, whoop, I hit that button. <laughs> all right, so let's turn this on. Let's see how this does. So it's more of like a straight in, which is pretty cool. And then, oh, okay, so check this out. Now you go on this side and you pull it up. Oh, that's awesome. Watch. That is cool. All right, so on the inside of the truck, you can see it's nasty. You got the dirt marks up here, the mud marks, and then this is all dirty here. You can see the dirt embedded in there from the kids' shoes. Dirty chitlins. So I'm gonna take this off first. I'm gonna use that little crevice tool. I'll scrub a dubba dubba and then I'll just hit it with the water down here with the larger tool. But you can see how compact this is. It literally just fits right in the back of your car or your truck or whatever you're doing. And I love that. It's not hanging out of the outside of your car, your truck, you're messing with hoses, any of that. This is real nice like. So let me do this first. We'll go to scrub a dub dub. Put that with some water. Dub, dub, dub. Pull this up. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think the crevice tool is going to do even better because this is like a weird angle. So let me put this back on. I just sprayed myself in the face. You got to watch out for that trigger though. <laughs> Keep your head away from the trigger. It's kind of refreshing. A little bubbly, but refreshing. Dub, dub, dub. Just like you're in a tubby. Uh, pull it up. I'm try to get you a better view of this thing working. So again, spray. Dubby dubby. Like you're in a tubby. And then this is going to pull this up. It actually works very well. And there you go, real nice like. So the crevice tool worked great. For smaller, tighter areas, for something like the seats, you can definitely use this. Put it on. That's so cool. That's like a real cover. Pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. This pulls that water up real good. I mean, the suction on this thing, pretty awesome. Oh, I like this. I like it a lot. And again, what I like about this crevice tool is even down here, like dirt. So that, uh, it really allows you to get in those tight areas. I'm gonna finish up the other one. Look how good this thing pulls up this water. All right. And just one more time for your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna pull up. I put a little bit of extra water here and uh, we're gonna pull it up. Put this on like so. This is gonna be your hose cleaner. So you just turn it on and pull the trigger. Watch. <laughs> that, my friends, that's pretty real nice. 
All right, so all you gotta do to take this out, pull this lever back, pull it up like so, and then there's your dirty water. Basically just pull this apart, take that off, and that, my friends, well, that is not real nice, like. Definitely not real, oh. Now, the cool thing about this is how easy it is to clean. I, I literally just ran this out to the house. You can bring it to the sink, whatever you wanna do. You got your airtight seal right there. You're just gonna put this back down on top. Now, it's pretty simple to get this back in. There is a little trick. Just put this end in first and then close it like that. Check that out. That's so cool. We're just gonna go right in. You can see it filling up. <laughs> and putting everything away is super easy too. You just wrap it around the bottom of the legs. I'm gonna take this off. This clips in here like so. This goes in the back. Just clips in like this right there. So that's not gonna go anywhere. And then your larger one, it literally clips in. Ain't going nowhere. So all in all, I was surprised with how powerful that unit is. There's only one speed. There's no low and high. It's just high all the time. Now off camera, I did even more. I did both front seats. I did the whole back floor. I did two mats. I finished the other mat up and everything you've seen on camera, we still have three bat ray bars on the 8.0, which is actually pretty impressive because these vacuums, they just suck a lot of the energy out of these batteries. So remember, the smaller the battery you have, well, the less runtime you're gonna have. If you go with the 12 age battery, you're gonna have more runtime. Now, I got everything drying, everything sort of taken apart. It takes two seconds to put it back together, but all in all, Ryobi really stepping up their game when it comes to these vacuums. You know, their stick vacuums have been fantastic. Hard surface area vacuums have been fantastic, and this is fantastic. I love how portable it is. It is so freaking light. And you got that three year warranty on this tool. But of course, I wanna know what you think. Leave me that comment in the sweet, sweet comment section below below and let us know. Also, if you like Ryobi tools and you wanna to see more, check these videos out right here. And we got even more coming to the channel, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of those videos. Please, please smish if this video has helped you at all. We'll be back with more videos soon.